What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm bringing a very cool balance style team. This team, this code specifically, was created by Omicron over on the Pokesports Discord server, but this, these six have been floating around a lot recently. Basically the idea is it's a firewater grass core of Volcarona, Rillaboom, and Tauros. Volcarona can set up quiver dances with the support of Fake Out from Rillaboom and Intimidate from Tauros, making it bulkier on the side it's not buffing. And also Unaware Clefable, which has been picking up a lot recently, can use Follow Me to help it set up as well. We also have a setup King Gambit, the standard Black Glasses Terra Dark with Swords Dance, Kowtow Cleave, Sucker Punch, just dark stuff. And interestingly, also a Gengar on this team. Gengar's a really cool mod into this meta, because Shadow Ball and Sludge Bomb hit a lot of Pokemon really hard. And it gets Haze. Pretty much any team you build in Reg H, you want to have Haze or Clear Smog, or some sort of Dondozo answer built in. Now Clefable also answers Dondozo pretty well, because it has Unaware. And it also has Skill Swap, so you can actually give Unaware to one of your partners as well. Uh, but that only gets you so far. But anyway, I'm excited to try out this team. There's not really any one mod I'm focusing on, so I'm just gonna bring whatever is good into whatever match, because these are all cool Pokemon, and Arillaboom. But anyways, I hope you're ready. Let's do it. Here we are versus- oh, they have their own King Gambit. Nice. They've also got Farigarath, Blood Moon Ursa Luna, Sinistra, who I love, Rillaboom, and Primarina. So their Firewater Grass Core is a Grass Grass Water Core. Okay. Looks Trick Room-ish to me. Two Trick Room setters. Two very slow mods. Our King Gambit is not min speed, so it's not gonna just go before their Blood Moon. But they do have a lot of dark weaknesses. Well, they have two dark weaknesses. Not a lot of ghost weaknesses. Clefable would be great if they don't have Iron Head on King Gambit, but I don't know whether they have Iron Head on King Gambit. Intimidate is also not perfectly reliable. Volcarone is great, because they have so many special attackers, and I can set up my special defense. I would just need to worry about King Gambit. Which... <laughs> I don't want to lead Tauros. Tauros is the only thing that can really hit it hard. But I guess Clefable would be alright. Rillaboom seems kind of weak. My own King Gambit seems fine, though. And then do I want Gengar, which can't hit King Gambit, Rillaboom, which can't hit King Gambit, or Tauros? I guess it's Tauros! I guess it has to be Tauros. Tauros can hit the Ursaluna, it can hit... it can intimidate the Rillaboom. It can hit the King Gambit, but I'll intimidate it, giving it Defiant, which is not great. Okay, that's a cool card. That was the starter I chose. I like that guy. Uh, there's King Gambit for Rigorap on lead. Okay. I feel it. I see. I see what you're going for here. I could go ahead and give my unaware to Volcarona so they can't do anything with Swords Dance shenanigans. I could go straight for a Fiery Dance into King Gambit. They might protect, but they also might try to set up. I could bring in my own King Gambit, who doesn't feel too threatened unless they have low kick. Yeah, I think I'll just throw a Fiery Dance and bring in my own King Gambit. If they have Protect, they usually don't have Iron Head. They should reveal Iron Head here if they have it. If they have Iron Head, they should definitely be clicking it into Clefable. They are Terrastalizing. If they're Dark Terra, I think Clefable is the way. But they're Fire Terra. That says to me maybe Assault Vest. Which unfortunately could mean low hit. That damage was okay, actually. They're a Sword Stance set. Okay. Unlikely to have low hit. I could try to get my own Swords Dance off and bring in Clefable here. Start redirecting next turn. That's what I like. That's what I want to go with. If they pull out something crazy here, like they got Terrafire Terra Blast, I mean, 
<laughs> That's best of one for you, you know? Uh-oh. What are they doing? Helping hand. I get my swords dance first. They're not min speed. How Tao cleave into my king gambit. That does so much damage. Okay, but they're not going to be able to do that much into my Clefable. I can follow me. Honestly, I could just double protect this turn, read out their King Gambit's protect. I know they want to protect their King Gambit. What's the speed on Clefable? Does Clefable go first? 81 versus 70 now. I think I just want to double protect. Burn out a turn in their Trick Room. Stop their King Gambit from protecting my hit. King Gambit protects, then Clefable protects. Then they go for Dazzling Gleam. Oh, they didn't protect their King Gambit there. I would have expected them to protect their King Gambit there. They have Iron Head. Yikes. Sword Stance? Iron Head? Kowtow Cleave? They must not have any protect at all. Do I want to Grass Terra my Clefable? That's not bad, honestly. It doesn't do badly into anything. The only thing that gives up is Terrastalizing something else. But that doesn't seem like the worst. Grass Terra, follow me. Kowtow Cleave their King Gambit. This way I take the Iron Head very easily. Dazzling Gleam shouldn't do too much to King Gambit since I'm not a tarot dark on it this battle. That is a huge hat for a Clefable. You do not need that big hat. You could, you could look at the King Gambit's hat. It's so tiny. And then, and then Clefable's just like, no, I'm going to have a big hat. Okay, we just delete the King Gambit. We didn't need to Terra. Oh well. That was more like in case of a speed tie, because we have just a 31 IV Adamant. So they could have been the same exact speed. It could have been a speed tie the whole time. But because we won multiple speed ties, I'm thinking maybe we were just the slower one the whole time. The Ferrigraph is slower, but it has a lower base speed. Here's Primarina. Would likely click Hyper Voice. Last turn of Trick Room. I mean, we don't know the speeds. I can get rid of their Liquid Voice, but I would give them Unaware. Is that worth it? All that would really do is force them to swap, I think. Skill swap them, give them unaware. But get rid getting rid of their liquid voice would really help Volcarona. So yeah, I think I want to skill swap Primarina and just protect King Gambit on this last turn of Trick Room. Frigoraph swaps. Into their Ursa Luna. Ooh, I wonder if they're faster than with their Ursa Luna. <laughs> Okay, their Primarina is actually faster than Clefable. And they got their Throat Spray boost, but like, how's that gonna help you? Boosted Dimensions return to normal. Primarina is faster than King Gambit, which is annoying. Uh, I mean, I think that means their Bear is actually faster too. They already burned Terra. I think we need to clean up with the back end. I'm gonna click follow me, even though I think Hyper Voice would come out from the bear. And Kowtow cleave their Saluna. Which protected. That's annoying. Are they just gonna go for Moonblast with Primarina then? You don't have Liquid Voice anymore. Yeah, 
Hyper Voice, that doesn't knock out King Gambit. That's normal. That actually means I could get in something next to King Gambit. Double Hyper Voice should take us both out. So I should sucker punch the Ursa Luna. If they bring in Farigarap and Hyper Voice, that's just what happens. Moon Blast and Sucker Punch into their Ursa Luna. Okay, they let me Sucker Punch. That's good. That's good damage. I will take that. And since we're fast, we get the Moon Blast and Ursa Luna's gone. You are locked in with no Liquid Voice. <laughs> I will take this double down for that. I don't think they have much of anything that can hit Volcarona now. We should be able to get a Quiver Dance up. Or should I double target into their Farigaraf, try to prevent them from getting another Trick Room? Because at any point they can moon blast my Tauros, which would be really annoying. Especially because they are at plus one after all. Uh, I guess they ignore. Since they have the unaware, they have to actually ignore our quiver dances. So I guess we should just hit Perigraph as hard as we can. Fiery Dance, close combat. The special defense drop won't affect their moon blast anyway. Yeah, maybe we can prevent Trick Room. I'm guessing probably not. Oh, they're not going for Trick Room. They're going for Helping Hand. Fiery Dance does not much to Furigraph, honestly. We get a special attack boost that'll only apply against the Furigraph. Close Combat almost takes Furigraph. Not quite. Go for Helping Hand. Are you gonna go for Moon Blast? No, just Hyper Voice. That doesn't take out Tauros. That does a lot of damage to Volcarona, though, because of the Helping Hand boost. Wow. All right, now I'm going to just Giga Drain the Primarina and Raging Bull the Farigarap. Get rid of that. After a Giga Drain, we should be able to take another Hyper Voice quite easily. And then when you no longer have Helping Hand, we maybe even take another one. I guess I could Double Protect here, but that would risk them getting up Trick Room. So they are just going for Helping Hand. Uh, I guess protecting both would have been better, just for a little health back. Giga Drain does not do half to Primarina. That's the one scary thing here. I think could have doubled into Primarina there, but I really don't want them getting first one. <gasps> a crit! No! We would have had it! No! I think after protecting Giga Drain, we would have lived another Hyper Voice. Oh, they had to crit on the Helping Handed one. No! Alright, here we have a matchup. They have Mail and Dee Dee Sneasler. They have Archaladon, Dragapult, Murkrow, and Golden Go. Versus Golden Go, I like Volcarona and King Gambit versus Dragapult, I like Clefable and King Gambit, versus Archaladon, I like Volcarona, and versus Sneasler, I like Tauros. Tauros, King Gambit, Clefable, Volcarona, I guess those are the four I want. Okay. How do I want to do this? Because King Gambit is good into pretty much all the team. Lots of Kowtow Cleave targets. Just have to watch out for Sneasler. And it's close combat. Which Clefable can redirect, but like, you know, it's gonna Dire Claw it. Maybe it's King Gambit on lead. Maybe even with something like Tauros. Just to soften up the Sneasler if they lead that. Have Clefable Volcarona in the back. Volcarona could swap into a Make It Rain. Clefable could come into a Dragon Darts. Clefable could come into a Close Combat. Volcarona even could come into a Close Combat. Getting a burn on Sneezer like that would be fun. 
I guess the one problem is what is Tauros going to do if there's an expanding force coming his way? Oh, that's a cool card. I love Ferrigarath, actually. I think it's a really cool design. I, really, I think it's a really cool mod. It's really strong. Murkrow Arch Haladon. It's going to be like Rain Dance Electroshock stuff. So. Not a big fan of getting electroshotted. Though also not a big fan of getting body pressed. Do I need to keep my steel typing? I might against Golden Go if that's in the back. But I have Volcarona. Yeah, maybe I Dark Terra Swords Dance protect the bull for now. If they're like Fairy Archaladon, I could be in some trouble. It doesn't look like they are. They're not seeming to go for it. I'm tearing defensively, just in case I get hit by a body press. I'm not giving them any defense boost. The body press shouldn't be too strong. A little worried that they're like Power Herb or Rain Dance into Electro Shot into the ball. It's Rain Dance. Uh, do they call that I protect the bull though? Or do they think they're gonna surprise my bull and just get the Electro Shot for free? Perfect. I get my big, powerful, juicy Sword Dance off. Love it. All right, what do I need Tauros for? And who am I willing to give up? Uh, I guess Clefable can come into an Electro Shot. It won't be boosted. So I could just click Kowtow Cleave into Arch Haladon, bring in Clefable. They could pivot their target onto King Gambit. Foul play plus Electro Shot, maybe that takes out. They just set up Tailwind. They want to be faster than my bull then. So that, that must be the, just the same target. I don't think plus two would take out King Gambit anyway if they went there. But yeah, this is just a neutral electric shot in the table. We eat that for breakfast. Let's see how you eat this. Plus two, Black Glasses, Paradark. Yeah. Oh, you're sturdy. Well, yeah, of course you're going to take it then. You're sturdy. <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh, I could Sucker Punch. They could bring in Indeedee. If they have it. I could Protect. But then Flash Cannon could knock out the Fable. I think I just kowtow cleave. Do I follow me? No, I think I should go for the sucker punch. And just follow me to be a little safe. Ah, is this just gonna be Indeedy? Sneasler. Oh! Unless it's a double swap. No, we get the sucker punch. I do expect that Indeedee is their fourth, though. But I like taking out their Arch Haladon. Didn't expect it to be sturdy on this team, though. But alright. Yeah, and here's their Indeedee. Do I think King Gambit can take a minus one close combat? There's also a chance they don't even click close combat here. Because it would get redirected right off the bat. So there's a chance I can just bring in Tauros, intimidate them, eat like a dire claw. Biggest threat left. Sneasler is still a big threat. But I could kowtow cleave the Indeed slot. If I Kowtow Cleave Sneasler, there's not much Indeedee can do to the rest 
I mean, indeed he can hit the rest of my team. Sneasler can hit a lot of my team as well. I'm going to Kowtow Cleave into Sneasler. Bring in Tauros for Intimidate. I think King Gambit should be able to take an Intimidated Close Combat, if they're even willing to throw that. They might be completely unwilling to do that in, front, in the face of a Clefable, which would be fair. Indeed, he just protects. Okay, I made the right target selection. And it's just a Dire Claw. Perfect. Tauros eats that very easy. Ah, oh, and he's asleep. <laughs> okay. I'd rather Tauros go to sleep. I expected Tauros to go down to an expanded course that turn anyway. Goodbye, Sneasler. <laughs> oh, man. Now, if they have, like, Dazzling Gleam or something, that's what they will click. How are things looking? Rain's about to end. Psychic Terrain has a lot of turns left. I kind of want to get Tauros to just go down, or at least fish for a wake-up, so I'm just going to protect. And I'll throw a Raging Bullet in Didi, but I'm asleep. Oh, battle's cancelled. Okay, they, they can't hit King Gambit anymore. Beautiful. GG. Here we've got a match. Ooh, a scary one. They've got a Ribombi. They've also got Gothitel, Ursaluna, Incineroar, Golden Go, and Primarina. I think I've seen this team before. Uh, it's like fake tears on the Ribombi, plus some strong special attackers. Nothing crazy. Those strong special attackers don't like fighting a King Gambit, though. Uh, except Primarina. Primarina appreciates it. Clefable can redirect anything they want to do. But I would have to worry about Golden Go. But you know who doesn't worry about Golden Go is King Gambit. So I think I need King Gambit one way or another. If I get trapped in... Gengar could be a good lead. It's immune to Fake Out. It's immune to Trapping. It can hit Primarina pretty hard. It's my only Ghost. Don't even have a Ghost Terra on anything, I don't think. I guess I have a pivot move on Rillaboom, but I don't love Rillaboom here. The only thing it's good into is the Primarina, and I guess the Ursaluna. I think Clefable is alright against everything but Golden Go, and our lead is solid into Golden Go. So we bring these, the problem we would face is like Ursaluna, Primarina. So actually Rillaboom is good, this last one. Huh, what do you know? How am I breaking through Incineroar? I'm not really sure. I'll just have to worry about that as it comes along. But having King Gambit probably threatens them enough so that they don't want to bring Incineroar. And that is a trainer card. I will take it. Gothitelle Ribombi. Uh, that's weird. Okay. Two support lines. All right. I could protect King Gambit just to not get faked out, because I feel like that's all Gothitelle really wants to do here. I could Sludge Bomb Rubombi down to Sash. I could throw a Shadow Ball at Gothitelle just for some damage. I don't think I need damage on Gothitelle. I think I want to break the Sash on Rubombi. Sludge Bomb better than Shadow Ball. Either one could be swapped into by something, so I'm going to click Sludge Bomb. Alright, King Gambit Protect. Got this hell fake out into King Gambit. Okay, the Protect was the best play I could do with King Gambit then. He wasn't going to get anything off. And just a Tailwind from Ravombi. Okay. I don't really mind that. Because with Shield Dust, Sludge Bomb will never poison them, so they're guaranteed to stick around this turn. And I'm gonna get a Sword Stance off. If I remember this team, you have Pollen Puff, Moon Blast, Fake Tears. The only thing you want to click into King here but there is Pollen Puff, and Gothitelle's only offensive move was Psychic. I could swap my Gengar if I wanted to. Maybe I do want to. But I could also just protect it this turn. Yeah, I think that's all I want to do here. Start stalling out their speed control. 
They're going for a defensive Terra. Must be on Gothic Hell. Are they water, I think? Yeah. Ooh, I like bringing Rillaboom now. They have a lot of water weaknesses left. If they brought what I thought they brought. Alright, what do you got for my King Gambit? Pollen Puff is probably the worst you can do. Moonblast into Gengar? I will take that. Thank you. And Psychic into Gengar. Beautiful. Thank you very much. For the free source. Now I think the play is Sucker Punch Rabombi. So that they can't break my Gengar's Sash. And I could swap Gengar to preserve my Sash, honestly. I could go into either Fable or Rillaboom. In that case, I might want to actually take out Gothitelle with a Kowtow Cleave. But no, Gothitelle doesn't threaten King Gambit at all, so I want to leave that around. And yeah, I'll go into Clefable. Sure, I'll be trapped in with Clefable now, but I could just follow me until they take it out. And I want to save Rillaboom for as late as possible. Sucker Punch. <laughs> oh, but it failed. They fake tears into my Gengar slot. Okay. Doubling up with Psychic. Right. Big damage into Clefable, actually. I will now Kowtow Cleave the Rabombi and just protect. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Oh, Rabombi Swap! Get me some big damage on somebody. Free Marina? I'll take it. That's good damage. Plus two cow Kowtow isn't gonna do nothing. And yeah, they Psychic Clefable, that's all they can really do. How much am I getting? Ooh, big damage into Pre-Marina. That's Sucker Punch range, you can't attack. Tailwind petered out. How, what's my speed situation on this King Gambit? Neutral? Okay, Pre-Marina should be faster. If they go for Parish Song, I bring in Rillaboom and they're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> so I can Sucker Punch Pre-Marina, I feel like that's safe. And if they do something weird with Gothitelle, I guess I could skill swap away their ability, but then they would have unaware. I don't want to do that. So I'll just click Moon Bat Blast in the Pre Marina. I expect. Oh, they did use a status move. Wow. Okay, didn't expect that. Parish Song. Alright, well. Am I trapped in here with you, or are you trapped in here with me? <laughs> let, let, let's be real. Cause I'm about to pull out a Rillaboom. And you're not gonna appreciate that. Cause all you have in the back is like... I, I mean, I don't know. You have one more Pokémon I don't know about. But in comes Rillaboom. You burned your Terra. You got Grass Weakness, Grass Weakness, and 1 HP Mon in the back. And something else. Could be Incin. Go ahead, bring in your Incin. See if I care. I'll Kowtow Cleave Pre Marina, and I'll Wood Hammer Gothitelle, and they can double protect this turn. But I'm gonna get KOs eventually. I guess I could switch up how I'm ordering this targeting because it should be enough to KO them both anyway. If I switch... They could have Incineroar in the back, which would want to switch into the Wood Hammer. They could have Golden Go in the back, which would want to switch into the Wood Hammer. So the Gothitelle slot could switch for Wood Hammer. Kowtow Cleave there, Wood Hammer the other way. They swap, I take two KOs, they get Gothitelle back in, they protect. I lose my King Gambit, but not my Rillaboom. So honestly, this is probably fine. Kowtow Cleave Pre Marina. No, other way. Kowtow Cleave Gothitelle. 
Woodhammer Primarina. What they should do here is swap Gothitelle, lose him on, bring Gothitelle back in for a fake out turn. Okay, Rabombi's coming in on the cleave. And they're giving me Primarina. So I get two KOs, but I lose my King Gambit for it. But now I wanna I wanna see what their last is. Um they, they got Gothitelle, which should come in and fake out my King Gambit. That's what it should do. And their final mod is Ursa Luna. Are they just going to double protect? Does it matter if I get another fake out turn? Not really. They burned Terra, so their Ursaluna is not safe. So honestly, I'm just going to Kowtow Cleave and Woodhammer their Ursaluna. They need to protect it. Yeah, they fake out into Rillaboom. Okay, that's what you want to do. And they Blood Moon into Rillaboom. It doesn't even take me out. And you just let King Gambit get a hit off? It's going to take something down with it. Bye. <laughs> you should have faked out the other way. Or you should have protected Ursa Luna, honestly. Take out King Gambit for free. Have to just have to deal with what I have in the back. That's what you should have done. Here's a Gengar. Have fun. Stellar Sludge Bomb. Plus Grassy Glide. Good luck. Have fun. They would have to hit Gengar twice. They would have, oh, then they would have also have to hit Rillaboom. Yeah, there's no shot here. Come on, Gengar. Stellar Shadow Ball. Or did I go for Sludge Bomb? It doesn't matter what I went for. I think Sludge Bomb does more, so I'd probably click that. They're taking their time. They're thinking about this. They're like, where do I click Psychic at? I guess you could Protect. Try to stall out Grassy Terrain a bit. Well, whatever it is, they decided, finally. Alright, Gengar. Let's see what you got. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chip it down with Grassy Glide and see if you can finish it off. Okay, they protect it. Fine. Be that way. Sludge Bomb, Grassy Glide. And I'm just Grassy Gliding in case they're as fast as my Rillaboom. I don't know what their speed is. I don't think we ever saw them click Psychic while Rillaboom was on the field. So I don't think we ever got to see the speed interaction. And they're taking their time. I think they're hoping my internet goes out. <laughs> I think that's their win con. Is they take as much time as they can and my internet goes out before I'm able to input my moves. Is, is that your plan? Is that your plan? Because I don't see any other way you win this. Are you planning to somehow win on timer by KOing my Rillaboom and then... Okay, there's a, there's a double protect. I guess that was the play. I don't know about timer stalling, but the double protect there was the play. Get rid of grassy terrain. Try to live these hits a little bit better. Maybe even outspeed Rillaboom, but... There you go. Gengar was going to do enough damage anyway. And it wasn't Citrus Berry, so... I think Gengar would have done enough on its own. I don't think Rillaboom really needed to do that. But anyway, that is a game. Gengar did something, too. I love that. <laughs> Alright, GG. 
Alright, we've got a match here versus a very interesting team. They've got Rillaboom, Electabuzz, Talonflame, Alolan Ninetales, Hisuian Gudra, and Dragapult. My guess is they're going to use the combo of Fake Out, Follow Me, and Aurora Veil to set up a Gudra. However, we have Unaware Clefable, which doesn't take anything from Body Press. We've got Gengar with Haze. And we've got a special attacker in Volcarona that can set up. In fact, Volcarona seems really powerful here, other than they have Talonflame. In fact, Talonflame is a little bit annoying for this team. Depends on the set, though. I do like Clefable. And my best way at stopping Veil is actually I can break it with Raging Bull. So I, I can just let them set up Veil and then get rid of it. That's going to be the plan. So I think I want to set up with Volcarona. I think the easiest way to do that is with Clefable. Bring Raging Bull in the back just to get rid of their Veil when I'm ready. And finally, is it Gengar for Haze? I think the Haze only matters a little bit, but it is an option. Plus having a Sash just to be able to hit something. I'm faster than a lot of their team. So they have Tailwind. King Gambit could also be good. So I don't want to bring something that weak to body press. So I think these are the right four. And maybe they're not. Maybe I just want to use Gengar. But it's fine. Alright, let's see. No trainer card. Ooh. Man, that's rough. They don't know how to take a picture. All right, Ninetales and Talonflame. Okay, I get it. You set up Snow, you can set up Tailwind, you could taunt my Clefable would be annoying. But I think this is mostly a free Quiver Dance follow me turn. Yeah, I guess that's the worst thing Talonflame can do here is just taunt my Clefable. Just Brave Bird right into the table, that's alright, you can take that. Oh yeah, that doesn't do much at all. And there's your Aurora Veil, okay. We'll get rid of that later, don't you worry. And Quiver Dancing up. I think the play here now... I mean, we have, what, Mental Herb? No healing? I think it's alright to Quiver Dance follow me again. Brave Bird's not gonna knock us out. Ninetales can't really do much of anything to Volcarona. It could have some sort of, sort of support move like Encore, which I would have to worry about. But that's after the Fable goes down, which it won't from Talonflame. Alright, they just set up Tailwind. They want to be faster. Fine. And they just click Blizzard. Okay. I think now they might want to Brave Bird into Clefable. Don't know if I want to allow that. I could Terra Dragon. I've got plus two special defense, so I'm not too worried about the super effective blizzards. I could Terra Dragon, hit Ninetales with a fiery dance. And I could just follow me. I think follow me is fine. As long as I don't get hit by Brave Bird, I feel like I don't take too much damage on Volcarona this time. Even from a blizzard I'm weak to. And through Veil, maybe this plus two Fiery Dance doesn't take a Ninetales, but that would be a lot of bulk on your Ninetales. Ooh, Talonflame just protects? That's not so bad. I wasn't hitting you. Now I don't have to take Brave Bird damage. Blizzard comes in, doesn't even knock out Clefable. Beautiful. No freezes. Fiery Dance gets fired off. And Ninetales lives on one. Must be sad. Yep. Okay. And we get a special attack boost out of it. Beautiful.
The Aurora Veil has two turns left. And we do have Aqua Jet on Tauros. Okay, beautiful. If I sacrifice Clefable here, I can come in on their last turn of Veil and Aqua Jet their nine tails to prevent them from setting up another one. So I think that's fine. I can just protect on Volcarona. Is there any chance they don't attack Clefable? Would I want to take out Nine Tails and keep Clefable on the field? No, not really. I'm going to Moonblast into the Talon Flame in case there's a swap there. But there wasn't. But I can't see them not knocking out Clefable here. Yeah. There goes Clefable. And they just throw a blizzard. Fine. You're almost out of snow and veil. And I'm getting leftovers back. Alright, coming in, getting an Intimidate down on Talonflame would be really nice for Volcarona. Aqua Jet to get rid of the Ninetales, which is the main threat to Volcarona. And then Veil going away soon. It's all beautiful. How is the Tailwind looking? Last turn of Tailwind as well? Oh, that's beautiful. Should I dance again? I think I'll just click Fiery Dance into Talonflame here. And Aqua Jet the Ninetales. I think that's the way to go. I don't want to get hit by like a Moonblast into Tauros from the Ninetales. I don't want to risk letting them swap out Talonflame to something else and get another Tailwind up later. Let's it into Tauros. Okay. Tauros can take that. It's not the Sweeper. Volcarona is the one sweeping. Uh, doesn't take out Talonflame, but I actually kind of like that. with the citrus berry. Okay. Snow ends. Then we get our leftovers. Then Tailwind ends. Then Aurora Veil vale ends. I don't know why we got leftovers in the middle of everything ending. Maybe it's because our side of the field was faster? But no, Talonflame was faster than Volcarona. I don't get it. Who do you got? Catapult Dragapult. Okay. Dragapult's annoying. Dragon Darts would do a ton of damage to Volcarona. And Tauros can't really do much to it. That's probably the most annoying thing they could have had left. Uh, I'm gonna throw Fiery Dance into the Dragapult, and I think Aqua Jet should take Talonflame from here, so I'm just going to do that. I don't want to protect Tauros, because I want Dragon Darts to be split, just in case Volcarona can take one. If Dragon Darts here, if they're Choice Band Dragapult, Dragon Darts takes both of us. We could be in a lot of trouble if plus three Fiery Dance doesn't do it, which I don't think it does. Aqua Jet and Town Flame, not enough. Well, it's a Protect. It's not going to go through a Protect. Should it have been Aqua Jet into Dragapult? No, that wouldn't have done that much damage. There's Dragon Darts. Tauros goes down. I think that's Choice Ban. Tell if Volcarona goes down, I think we lose this. Oh, no. Yeah, Gengar's slower than Bolt, presumably. Dragon Darts should KO us through Sash because it hits twice. Okay. Well, not okay. GG. <laughs> uh, so what was the play? Not Terra Volcarona? Yeah, I guess that was the case. I guess that was the play. I should not have terra the Volcarona. I should have just focused on getting rid of Talonflame. Anyway, GG. And we are back. I say the star of the show was King Gambit today. King Gambit was really impressive. I love this set. 
This set has worked in other regulations with higher power levels, so you know King Gambit's just powerful. I wasn't too impressed by the Volcarona. I think I would have liked to have a spread move, but it, it is what it is. This is a cool style of team, and it's pretty strong, and it's, it's just got a good balance of mons. So go ahead and try it out yourself. There's a rental code for you in the corner. And anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright, peace.